Jumbo Group announced its latest 3D manufacturing strategy at the launch of their new company, the 3D Manufacturing Center. It also unveiled its 3D Application Development Center, which is where we are right now. So let's take a look. Right, so we are right now in the 3D Application Developmental Center and with me right now is Jaspreet. So, can you quickly take us through this entire process that is done here? Absolutely, yes. Let's start with the CAD station which we have. Uh, so, this is where we do a lot of CAD work. We are designing the are final designing, output. designing, scanning and we prepare our build. So, once the file is ready to prepare the build. So, this is the processing station okay. and these are the material containers. Right. So we shift the material onto the build unit. So what is the material you're talking about here? So the material here is nylon, it's a polymer, okay. which is used for 3D printing. It's, it's a very common polymer, which is used traditionally for 3D printing, right. for industrial grade printing. But in what form is it? Is it like solid? Or? It's in powder form. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you, you can this... touch as well. Right, so this is the powder. Yes. And this is what's going to build the biggest thing that we're going to see here. Absolutely, yes. Awesome. So, right, from here, what is the next process that takes so place? So, we have the build unit full of powder, which is shifted onto the 3D printer. And this is where the printing takes place. It's a layer by layer process. Right. And so we have the agents. Right, traditionally, we know that like a printer, we know how a traditional printer works. So, how exactly is this printer different from that? So, this printer, it, it prints the parts in a layer, layer, layer by layer process. It has a print head. So, the print head deposits the agents onto the nylon powder. Wherever it deposits the agents, the powder solidifies and we get a solid part. Right, that so this is, is where process. we get our final product. Yes. So, I saw him build a little Burj Khalifa. So, this is where it's going to be printed. Yes. Interesting. So, but this is not the last process, is Absolutely it? Absolutely, yes. So once the parts are printed here, then we take it back to the processing station for cooling purpose. Okay. And once so what the, is the temperature they will be at? It's normally around 120 to 150 degrees Celsius is okay. the printing temperature. Right. And then we bring it down to the room temperature. Once we reach the room temperature, we pull out the parts from the build unit and then take it up for finishing. Right. And what happens exactly in the finishing area? So in the finishing area, we use a, a bead blasting machine. Okay. And in this machine, we remove all the powder from the parts. Right, so and how exactly is it done? Can you show us? Yeah, so we open this from here and we put our parts inside. You can see there are a few parts inside. So it's a blast and all the excess powder just gets removed? Yeah, just, just getting rid of the excess powder. Okay. And you get your finished product. After that, some customers may specify specific colors. Right, so basically this printer that we have there, it's a black and white printer. It's not a color printer. Yes. Right, and so the coloring is done manually? Yes. All right, and I'm assuming this is the paint booth then? <laughs> yes. So in the paint booth, you can add whatever colors you want. And with that, we finished the entire process. Great. Great, Jaspreet. Thank you so much for this little tour.